Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing guys then thank you so much for coming back. So grab yourselves a nice hot drink and some snacks. Um, mine's in my Emma Bridgewater Rosie Flow mug because that is actually my first name. I know my mum must have been on the gas and air. Well I know she was because she told me. But I think the gas and air took a big, much more effect on her. Because my first name isn't Rosie with a middle name. My first name is Double Barrel. It's Rosie Flo. And I've got it on my pint mug. I thought it'd be quite funny because, you know, when you're a teenager and you hate your name. <laughs> Especially if you've got little glasses and little frizzy curly hair. And in secondary school, it's like, Rosie Flo. And everyone's common name's more like Rhea and Katie. And you just want to be Katie so bad. You really want to have the name Rhea or Emma. You just want one of those names. And you have an eight-year-old woman's name, which is Rosie Flo, which now I absolutely love. But at the time, I just weren't loving it. Um, but Rosie Flo, and I've got my Emma Bridgewater pint mug. This is going to be my pirate mug at Christmas. This is going to be like my hot chocolate, half hot chocolate, half Bailey's mug. Um, so I've got a blackberry tea at the moment on the go. Today's haul is today. Is, today's haul is today. That would make sense. Um, <laughs> so today's haul is my bias of the week haul. So I was a little bit poorly the other week. Um, I've not gone too into it, but I was a little bit poorly. And I was on antibiotics and some painkillers. And I've said this from the beginning. This is always a hobby of mine. I only want to come on here when I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling good and I want to make a video. I'm never just going to sit there and make a video for the sake of making a video. And I was going to do a little next homeware haul, a little autumn haul, and then a little home bargains haul. And then I also picked up a few bits I was just going to show you in one of those videos. But actually, you've just got a big haul coming today, so that's a buys of the week. Um, so the first things I picked up with some pumpkin wear from next so if you are watching this video and you're very much into summer i am going to apologize because actually there's even some christmas bits here guys legitimately got some christmas bits on my table as well so the first things i got i actually found out about these from some lovely people that are on my instagram so they sent me pictures like rosie we know you're pumpkin obsessed look what's in the shops at the moment in next so in next they are selling pumpkin dinnerware guys I did put a picture up of me and Gary's date night the other week and you just went crazy for these. So they've got this big casserole dish. It isn't the biggest dish. It probably could serve maybe like four people if you've done, I don't know, like a pie or something in there. If it was a stew, I don't know if it would fill that many people. Maybe, I always do serve like big portions, so maybe you could. But I thought, how cute is this going to look on the table anyway? But then when you're going to have dinner or something like that, or you can even put sweets in it, come Halloween... And I just thought, how lovely is this? Because I'm a seasonal decorator. It isn't really about Halloween for me. I like to decorate for autumn as well. So this was £20 from Next. And I thought this is really lovely. And what I loved about this is, is I love it when they do it in these whites or the creams or the greys. Because then it tends to go with everyone's sort of colour scheme rather than some of the oranges. But I do like to add a little bit of it. But I thought the fact that it's coming white was really, really lovely. Um, and this was £20 from there, which... Sometimes it can be a bit pricey if it is just for show, but I thought this was really lovely. This is just going to come out every year. So sometimes you invest in these pieces, and so every autumn, we're going to have this out on my table. And I have got one from Laura Ashley, this big, like, large round one. So my mind was set on this. So I'm going to put, like, fajita mix in here, or, like, burrito mix in this one. And then I'm going to put the warm wraps in the large one ready. And then I picked up these for £14. So you get a set of two for £14. And you get these tiny little ramekins. So these are perfect. These are like individual portion ramekins. So these were £14. Um, and these are like a really lovely dark burnt orange. They're like a garish orange. Um, and they're really lovely. And what I thought is, this one can be for salsa. And the other one can be for guacamole. <laughs> So I'm going to do like a, an autumn feast up the table, set my table, get all my family members to come around, like me, Gary, the kids, my mum and dad can be in the garden. Hopefully by then things will be back to normal, but they might not be, so that might not be happening. But I've got them now, they can be put away for when that does happen. Um, so guacamole or salsa, and I thought they were really cute. And two for 14 pan, I think they're really reasonable. If you've got these, you don't have to have anything else, they're just... These nice little bits, you could pop these on the fireplace and just put little nibbles in these or sweets as well. They'd be really, really cute. You like right, darling? Hello. Hello, darling. <laughs> it's my gal, he's sneaking in to get the iPad. Um, so, and the next thing I got, so these were £10, so I thought these were really lovely as well. These little salt and pepper shakers. So they come in this little porcelain tray, it says Market Fresh. 
I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not too keen on this tray. I think if it would have had white writing, I think it would have looked a bit country farmhouse. More like, sort of like, you know what I mean? That sort of pumpkin feel that I like. But I think this is more edging on Halloween. Um, but I do love the little salt shaker, the little pepper shaker. These were £10. And I love that they come with the little gold little stems on them. I think they look really classy. And I think I'll probably just put them on maybe like a little wicker tray or something with my normal like vase that I have on the middle of the table and leave them out during autumn because I'm not too sure. But let me know what you think of that. It is really cute. I might even just paint over the, the black because I'm just feeling that they're a bit too Halloween-y for me, if that makes sense. I prefer them a little bit country chic. So they were £10. I really like those as well. So they were the bits that I got from next. I'm now going to go on to Home Bargains. So... In Home Bargains, I pick these up. Now, we always go to a Halloween party. We also always book tickets for this sort of like, it's a big theatre and they do a big ball there for Halloween. They do competitions. Unfortunately, we found out they won't be doing it this year because of the coronavirus. So I really want to make it really special at home. Obviously, there won't be big parties with loads of kids and that go into them. So I thought I'll get this and I'm going to try and make an at-home party for me and the kids and Gary and make it really fun. And I thought when I found this, this is really good and I thought this is a really lovely little idea for the kids. So I picked up this piñata from Home Bargains. They've got all their Halloween bits out now, which is lovely, and some Christmas bits as well. Um, so this was $4.99. And obviously, these are, you could make these, but for the aggravation and the little bits that you would need, like we tissue paper and that, might come to about two or three pounds. So really, I would just rather buy this for $4.99. And it's gonna get smashed up in five minutes. It also comes with a piñata stick. And it's a nice size. We're going to hang this in the doorway, fill it up with little sweets so that the kids can sort of knock it. Because I don't think there'll be much trick or treating this year either. So I just thought this would be like a nice little twist and addition. So we could watch like maybe Hocus Pocus, have hot chocolates, do a little pinata, do a little bit of dancing. And what I'm going to fill them up with is home bargains are brilliant at Christmas. Well, any time of the year really for like confectionery. But especially at Christmas and Halloween. So they always do these little packets of chocolates, and these are 39p. Um, I think these ones are 39, these ones are 59p. So you get loads of chocolate coins, um, and they've got loads of different little Halloween pack pictures on them. These are 100 grams. So I picked up three packets of these. I'm going on the equivalent of like I've got three children, and I'm going to put three of these in there. So 59p. They're just such good value. And then also they've got like little Dracula, little. What's here? Or is it creepy caretaker? Witches, ghosts, little chocolates. You get 70 grams in there. I think these are the 39p ones, but obviously you get less chocolates. Um, so I've got three packets of those. And then also got for 59p, or oh, these must have been 39 as well, because these are 70 grams, the little tiny chocolate round pumpkins. So I've got three packs of those as well. And I'm going to fill them up, put all these inside there with some sweets as well. So when they smack the pinata open, there's loads of chocolates and there's plenty left for mummy as well. <laughs> Gotta have some sweets for me as well. Also in there, I picked up these pumpkins. So these are 99p each. I am planning on painting these, um, but I just thought they're really lovely, nice sizes. If you want, <laughs> looked a little, little bit showy, didn't it? I just thought, oh yeah, I didn't realise that me and my pumpkins uh, make a little pumpkin bra. Could be a little pumpkin mermaid. Um, I thought these are really lovely. I'm going to paint these. So I thought for the size that they are, they're a lot bigger than the ones that you get in the pound shop usually each year, and they've got no cutout pieces on them. So if you are going to be doing pumpkin crafts, 99p. They've also got black ones as well, but you could alternatively leave them like this. They are really pretty as well. The glitter does come off quite a bit, so once they're painted, hopefully the glitter you can just spray them with hairspray, and then the glitter won't come off as much. Also for 79p, they had this little pick. Uh, with tiny little pumpkins on and I just thought this would be perfect I'm going to spray paint these white and then just sort of paint these gold the little stems and I'm just going to pop them into my vases that I've got scattered around the house with eucalyptus in just to sort of give that a little bit of an autumn twist so 7 9 p I thought these are really lovely you can add these to wreaths as well I didn't realise until I got home there must have been a third one on here um, but I didn't actually realise it was the only one there so I didn't mind I'll probably go back and get a few more of these <coughs> I did get the hairspray for the glitter <laughs> and also 85p I thought that was really good such a random price though 85p really firm hold and I bought some pampas grass 
I've officially jumped on the Pampas uh, bandwagon, but I wanted some in my hallway because I thought it'd be really nice to have some natural dried flowers. It's not expensive, keep replacing them with like real ones, but because they're dried, they're real, they look lovely, but also I've got to keep replacing them. So, but the, the fur on them comes off everywhere. So I thought I'll get some cheap hairspray and that's actually done the job, it's 85p, got that. Also for 2 dollars I got myself some dry shampoo because you know, this girl don't wash her hair more than once a week, so I'm going to some dry shampoo. I always get the original because I find sometimes the ones that are a bit fruity, I don't know, I feel like with my natural scent, I just smell a bit sickly, so I, thought I always get the original. Probably too much information there, but oh well. Also, you guys love to organise and clean. You are going to love these. So these were 79p. I had to pick these up. So I've already done all of my sort of like organising with labels and stickers. So I've got these for my friend. But look how amazing. So in the section where they sell the storage boxes, they've got all of these vinyl labels. Um, so they've got the storage box stickers. So on these, you get two sheets and it's like medication, emergency, first aid. And they've also got it in the smaller writing as well. First, so there's quite a few on this. So if you've got a few people, could even give some to my sister and to my mum. So they've got these ones, and then they've also got ones that say brushes, bubbles, scrunchies. So this one's going to be perfect for me and Millie because we've got so many drawers that have different hairbands scattered around the house because we're like school run people. So we have some down here for running late, some upstairs in my bedroom. Millie's got a bobble drawer, so I thought that was good. And then they've also got ones that say like bits and bobs, chargers, remotes. I think they had more in there, probably had more laundry based ones. Oh, they did have laundry ones. They did have laundry runs that said pegs, detergent, things like that on it, but I didn't pick it up. Um, I don't know why, because I think I'd have preferred that to the medication and the emergency one. Oh well, 79p, and I just thought they were really good. So I'm going to probably use a little font in a couple of these, and then cut them individually, and then put them through the letterbox to my friend, because I know she'll use those. Got those. Also, for 29p, I had to pick myself up a trolley coin, because for some reason, even though nowhere's taking cash... I always find a way of losing pound coins, which I'm pretty sure I must be spending them. I used to think I must be spending them, but I'm sure I must be losing them. But 29p, little trolley coin, so I don't get caught short when I'm in the supermarket, because I'm always having to queue up, get cash out, ask them if they'll give me some change. At the moment, it's a complete nightmare, so I was like, get your act together and go get yourself a trolley coin. Whereas, not that it's the most fun thing in the world, but... This is going to save a lot of embarrassment. <laughs> also as well, because I'm trying to be this new organised person. I really am. For 79p, I got myself a little reusable shopping bag. And it is in the rosy trademark black and white bulb dot, which I'm so happy about. And it's also got a little sleeve. So you take it out. Let's see what size this bad boy is. They did have red ones of these as well, but I wanted the black one because just in case it's a bit grubby in my bag. Look at that. Oh, look, I could even turn it into a vest top. What are you reckoning? With the pumpkins on the front, perhaps. <laughs> this is my Halloween costume. No, so it's a nice size. <laughs> Not the pumpkins, the bag. Um, so it's a nice size. You know, if you ever caught short in the shop, 79p. It's lovely, folds up tiny. I can guarantee my hat that it will not fold up the same size. Oh, tell a lie. Tell a lie. It, it might go back. Maybe not, but we're going to attempt it anyway. And then it fits back in the slot. It's got a little key ring bit on it, so you can tie it to, even to your keys if you want to. It might be a bit fiddly, but... I'll probably just put this in my bag, pick it to my, 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 actually clip it to my purse so that I don't forget to bring it out. So 79p, I've got that as well. Also as well, card factory, bit random. Oh no, I've got this for 79p as well. I've got some carpet foam. Apparently this is amazing. So Carly J Drake, I've watched her, she's really good with cleaning tips and that on YouTube and on Instagram. And I'm sure this is the one that her and her partner was doing on the stairs and it come up lovely. So I've got this, I'm gonna to attempt to do my stairs because they're really grubby and disgusting at the moment. Isolation has left my house, literally. When you look up close to anything, there is scuffs, dirt, dust. I'm not ashamed to admit it, it's fine. And that's just my belly. <laughs> oh, the weight I put on, I'm like scuffing the walls as I go past them. So also in the card factory, they're selling Christmas cards. Yes, I'm very excited. But I always get my children the charity cards. I like to know that I'm putting my money somewhere good when I get these. Always make sure I recycle all my cards after Christmas as well. Thought I'd say that. I, I never thought in my life I'd have to say that before. But sometimes people are a little bit like Rosie. You're not very good for the environment. And I just thought, I'm just going to tell you that I'm going to recycle them after. So that you can just sort of like not tell me off perhaps. Um, 
But I've got the 32 charity cards, you get 32, <laughs> you get 30 of them, you get 32 of them for 99p, you get four designs, perfect for kids' classrooms. Don't even know if we're going to be allowed to give these out, but they can be safe for next year. But in Card Factory, all of their charity cards are free for two. So some of them, they're like £4 a box. And if you've got to get loads of cards, they're free for two, so I save you a bit of money. I did get two boxes, but Alfie got a little bit overwhelmed and he started to try and write his cards out now. And I was like, no, that's not really the point. But, you know, we've got them anyway. So we're not 9p, but two for So 198 costs for three packets of them. Also as well, what did I get? Oh, that's what I got. So we have a shop. Well, me and Gary don't have a shop, but there is a shop that I went to. It's called Choice. Um, so it's a discount store and they sell like x next from last year or even stuff from this season that just, I don't know, overstock or something like that. Or there might be seconds, something slightly wrong with it or it's come up the wrong size. Anything like that and it gets sent there. Occasionally they do other branded stuff as well. Sometimes they do like Frank and the Marshall, sometimes they have Marks and Spencers. But mostly on the whole it's next. Now I am ultra prepared for Christmas every year. I always have been. I think I always will be. So when I saw these for the boys... I thought they're going to save me money right now and I really like them. So they've got next Christmas jumpers and these would originally be £11, which isn't going to break the bank. But you know what? For the sake of saving two months and I've got them for six quid, I thought I've saved a fiver. Makes me feel good. So on total, we've saved a tenner. Um, but these little Christmas jumpers and I thought, how cute are these going to look? A little pair of jeans and some boots. So I've got these from there. I've got them in seven, age seven years. So they'll last them for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not much of a bargain, I know. Um, no, I've got these in seven years, and I thought these would just look really nice. It gives them a little bit of room, because Alfie, Archie will be seven. Alfie and Archie are very close in size, though. Alfie's a bit more beefy. Archie's older, but Alfie's a bit more beefy, so it's kind of six to seven. Once they've got, like, a little shirt on under these as well, I thought these were really cute. Look at that little pattern for Christmas. So these are six pounds, so I've got these. I'm going to put them away for Christmas time, around about December to wear. And then also they had these in there. So I always do little Christmas Eve bags and like old boxes for them. And I thought, you know what? They're really gonna look lovely in there. So from next, these were originally nine pounds each, which I think is a bit of a rip off for slipper socks. I'm not gonna lie. I think that is quite expensive. But they're next, they're really lovely quality, lovely and soft inside. Little slipper socks, but they were three pounds in choice today. So I've got a little pair each for the boys. They don't go up to Millie's size, um, but I'll get her some more, like maybe more red ones or something. I always get them very similar, but slightly different to Millie. And they've got the little rubber bits so they won't slip over. And they're gonna go with their little Christmas pajamas in their Christmas Eve bags. I just think if you can pick it up now, I like to do that. That's what I like to do. So another thing that I got, these are amazing. I know this is like a really random tip and a really random thing that I bought. I wanted to share it with you because I am noticing how many wipes people are going through during coronavirus. Now, I understand that everyone's a complete choice. And to be completely honest, up until about a year ago, I was wipe crazy. I'd go through a packet of floor wipes a day, and that sounds terrible. But I didn't really realise the impact. But obviously, coronavirus has also made me watch lots of documentaries on Netflix. <laughs> Some of them about the environment. So, I bought a little while back this little flash mop. So, it's a flash feed mop. You get a packet of like wipes that you can use. Now, not that I, I live in a mansion, but it's kind of got a, quite a lot of floor space. So when I wash the floors, I have to go for about three wipes to make sure that it actually washes the floor because they dry out quite quickly. I have to use about three wipes. For a pack of 24 wipes, you're talking about 5 99 for a box of them. Three wipes a day, that is really bad, quite bad for the environment. Obviously, I'm not judging anyone that does this because like I said, I was probably the world's worst for it not so long ago. But I bought this mop, and do you know what I thought it was going to be? Way more efficient, way more cheaper, and it's going to be a lot better for the environment. But I tried a few different cloths, and they were just not that good. But I got these from Home Bargains. So you get a pack of five cloths, and these are the really, really thick microfi microfiber cloths. And they come with the little colours on the edges. I've used the purple one because I wanted to use it to see if it worked first. Because like I said, I've even used face cloths, like, like flannels and stuff, to try and see if they would actually still remove marks or stuck on stains and things like that off the floor and um, these have left it streak free beautifully mopped up it even buffs the floors at the same time 99p and they're really good they're color coded as well and all i've been doing is literally soaking them in the sink in whatever detergent i'm going to use on the floor you can spray it directly on the floor if you're using spray and direct 
and literally they pop into the little things as well, they stay there, they've made my floor super clean, I rinsed it out in the sink and then I've just got a little box that I pop these in so that I just put them all on a wash in the washing machine, just a quick eco wash, but you could just wash these by hand in the sink obviously as well, a bit of bleach maybe to like kill any germs, but I just thought for a pack of five for not p I've not got to go keep spending money every week on these refillable wipes and also I'm not going to just keep chucking stuff away that can't be recycled neither. So I got them and I thought I'd show you my little tip. Obviously, I do use chemicals if I have to, I feel like I have to. And sometimes I do use things that, you know, but I am trying to consciously be a little bit better with things. I know there's so much plastic and stuff on all these things that I've been buying. But I am recycling them and I'm trying to be a little bit better where I can be better. Um, because obviously everyone, it's, it's time efficiency as well, isn't it? It is, it is about time as well. And obviously everyone's really scared at the moment. So I think people are a little bit less worried about the environment, a little bit more worried about their family and friends and germs, which is completely understandable. Um, so that seems like a bit more of an imminent thing. But I thought they were really good. And because I wash my floor with them and they come up super sparkling, lovely, I thought... I'm going to share them with you as well, which I don't normally share because I don't really normally share cleaning products and stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this haul. It's been a little bit of a long-winded one and I've not stopped chatting and shutting up. But I thought I'd share it with you and it's just because I'm a little bit excited because I feel like I've not been myself for a little like couple of weeks so I've been a bit poorly. So I do apologise guys, but this is my little place where I vent to my new friends on here. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free to do so. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the video as well. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. <laughs> That's fair enough. You're entitled to your opinion here. It's a safe space. Um, but also, if you want to press the notification bell, that let you know when any of my videos have been uploaded. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Please take care. Have a lovely weekend, guys. Bye.